for my food is called bao zi. If everyone can say bao zi after me, bao zi. All right, you all nailed it, perfect. You all just learned some Chinese. So what is bao zi? This is, here's a couple pictures of bao zi. Uh, this is one of my favorite foods I had while in China. I pretty much had it every morning. And me and my friends would go out like pretty much every day and just get the stuff. So let me show you guys just a little clip of it. To give you a better idea of what bao zi is. Look, if you guys are interested in that man, he was the food ranger. His name is Trevor James. I recommend him. He has a lot of videos on Chinese food. So what is bao actually? So it's pretty much a steamed bun with filling inside. And there's around 17 different types of bao tzu. Sweet, savory, small, large bao tzu. It's a whole bunch. I, my favorite kind of bao tzu is like the traditional kind that has pork scallions and ginger and believe it or not it's actually a breakfast food despite being so savory and it was first made about 1800 years ago and the story behind Bao Tzu is a little funny so around 300 AD 1800 years ago uh, an army general named Zhuge Liang and his men had across this raging river but despite their best efforts they could not cross it so then they encountered a barbarian that was local to the area. And that barbarian told Zhuge Liang that the only way to cross the river is to appease the river spirits or to make them happy. And the way to do that is to throw in 49 heads into the river. Now, Zhuge Liang is not a mean person. And he did not want to do that. So he got all his men to make dough and shape them into uh, a person's head. So it's called barbarian's head. And then they cooked it and threw them into the river. And then they were able to cross the river and do their thing. So now the bowels and ingredients, you can see right there, there's dough filling and then there's a sauce. So it's a typical dough recipe, but the filling consists of pork, cabbage, scallions, ginger, and egg. And for the real flavor that's in it, you need Chinese rice wine, soy sauce, cooking oil, sesame oil, sugar, spices, salt, and pepper. So I'm going to, can I see you right now? I'm gonna start cooking for you guys. All right, yeah, okay. So I have the dough pre-made right here. By the way, for you kids, always have an adult in the kitchen with you and always wash your hands before you start cooking. So my hands are clean. And first of all, I'm going to put some flour on a surface. I'm using a cutting board just so the dough doesn't stick to it. And my rolling pin is this cup. <laughs> so I'm a flour that as well. All right, awesome. So we have this dough right here, a little piece. Push it down. And then roll it out, it's edge to edge. You want the center to be a little bit thicker than the edge, so when it cooks, it doesn't fall apart. And you want the whole circle to be about four inches across. So I keep kneading this. All right, perfect. This is our finished product, okay? And I have right here in front of me some of that filling. It's about like, there's the stuff right there. So we're gonna put a spoonful, just about. Maybe just a little bit, a little bit less than that. In the center. You want to have at least an inch from the filling to the edge. Like, like that. Now you want to pinch the side and 
and go counterclockwise while pushing the filling with your other thumb. And this might get a little messy. Now you want to twist it like that. And you get a little raw bao tzu. Okay. And the way to cook it is that you have a steamer right here to the inside. And you want to have a piece of parchment or maybe a lettuce, if you're feeling healthy that day, on top of it so the bowser doesn't stick to the bamboo. All right? And then you want to stack, or not stack, but put about five or six into each steamer. And then have a pan of water and have it simmering. Then put the steamer on top and then cook it for 15 minutes on about medium high heat. And what you get through the magic of television or live streaming, whichever you prefer, you get the finished product right here. A completed bowl that's been cooked. And a way to eat it is you have a sauce. So I just have some soy sauce with me. You would also have some Chinese black vinegar, which is what I like. So today we just have some soy sauce. And we just dip the bowser in the soy sauce. All right. Mmm. Delicious. <laughs> All right. So that was my bit on the Chinese dish bowser. So, up next is Josh and his, oh, is up next is Victoria.